games. Whoop, let's go. Uh, Hursty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time we Hey there, guys, welcome back to Hursty Games, and welcome to a player review video. Something we haven't done in a little while because it hasn't really felt particularly relevant to do a player review video. But we've got this new Federico Valverde. Uh, it's the Champions League Road to the Final card that has come out. It's a 93 rated, a massive, massively boosted card that has been released with a relatively cheap SBC. I'll show you guys which team I'm submitting to do it. But first, we'll just quickly run through the card. Six foot tall, medium, medium work rate. Three star, three star, which is a bit of a shame. Would have been nice to have been at least four star on one of those, in my personal opinion. Uh, but he will be playing CDM for me in game, so I'm not as fussed by it. But hopefully, he can do something for us as we go through. But regardless, his in game stats do look pretty darn decent. Now, sadly, most of the stats do have at least one stat that kind of ruin it for him. So, for example, his shooting, the volleys and penalties are quite low, so otherwise, it'd be really, really high. Good shot power. Good long shots, which is really nice. Free kick accuracy, which isn't too bad for passing. But crossing is a tad low, as is curve. Balance is a tad low, but again, as a CDM, I'm not too fussed by that. Um, but honestly, I think all in all, the card looks very, very good. 86 stamina is more than enough for the CDM spot. I will be putting an anchor card onto him. So he's going to go up to about 94 pace, roughly 90. I think it's 91 or 92 uh, defending and 92-ish physical as well. So I think this card is going to be fantastic to use in-game. I'm really looking forward to doing him. Uh, from all the packs I stacked up for the beginning of the like preseason promo, these cards are all players that I packed. The, the Jovic is untradeable, so I don't mind using him instead of selling him. But this is the squad I'm submitting. 83 rated, 60 chemistry, 284s. I think it's 283, 383s, and then the rest are 82s, and you'll get it done absolutely easy if you're wondering how to do it. But that is Valverde submitted, done. Finite, whatever you want to call it, and we are going to throw this guy into the club, into the squad, and I'll show you the squad in a second. One thing that's worth bearing in mind, obviously, if Real Madrid go through, he would get an upgrade. Now, uh, they currently are losing. They lost uh, against Man City in the first leg. I think it was 2-1, somebody said to me in stream. Uh, so if that's wrong, apologies. That's my bad for not looking it up. But uh, he could get upgraded if they go through. It's a big if. But regardless, an 83-rated squad for a 93-rated card is very good for the return. So this is the team I've thrown him into. It's just a bunch of Liga Santander players I had, plus Rio Ferdinand, because uh, as it turns out, I didn't have any other Liga Santander centre-backs. Uh, but this is the team I'm running with, so you can see uh, a fairly good few amount of players. There's a few players here I'm using for the first time, including Semedo. It's my first time using him. First time using De Jong, uh, Morales. First time using matches outside of squad battles. I used him for a couple of squad battle games just because I didn't want to use my main cards. And first time using Kubo. Uh, in a full game instead of bringing him on as a sub. So he's going to be playing at CDM along with De Jong. Uh, hopefully he will just kind of be the stay back defender and do a good job. I'll try and get as many highlights of him specifically if I can. If I score concede that kind of job, I'll show you the highlights anyway. Uh, and I'm also in a slightly new setup. You might be able to tell with the camera if this isn't your first time watching a video or a stream of mine. This is a slightly different setup for me, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, regardless, let's get into this video and let's see how good Valverde is. Right, Valverde with his first thing to do is try and tackle Thurum, which he couldn't do. Thurum nearly scored as well. Uh, I was a little bit slow off the mark there in actually realising that uh, Thurum needed uh, tackling, but thankfully he did miss it. But let's get um, Valverde on the ball. Let's see what his dribbling is like here. Obviously the three-star skimmers is going to be a problem. Pogba shrugged him off. I'm going to assume that Summer Heat. Valverde did make the first tackle, but didn't manage to keep the ball. This could lead to a goal, which is not good for us. This guy is actually walking all over us and has scored straight off the bat. That is not good at all, and Valverde was the person to lose the ball, so a bit of a stinker start for Valverde there, and um, I don't know really if there's much more I could have done as an input there, but a 1-0 uh, goal straight away, not a good start for him. Oh, and my controller side. Well, this is great. This is fantastic. I have a dead controller. Great. Let's leave this in the video and show that Tom is, in fact, a professional uh, boy. Right, let's see if we can get this ball up to Valverde. We can in the middle here. Now, let's give him a bit of a chance here. Decent little control on the ball. Bit of a heavy touch there, but his dribbling feels pretty decent when he's on the ball, which is quite nice. That's a lovely pass through two matches. Who is on side? Oh, can we actually get Valverde on the score sheet? Didn't expect this. Oh, it's a stinker of a shot, but it has actually managed to work its way in. So Valverde has actually scored on his debut, which was not part of the plan at all. But fair play to him. Again, his dribbling felt really nice there. His pass through two matches was a beauty. The shot itself is a bit of a stinker, but it does find the back of the net. That's the main thing. If it goes in, it goes in. 1-1, one, one, and well done, Valverde. All right, we're going to try and get this ball out now and play it back to Valverde. See again what his distribution can kind of be like. Again, with him sitting back at CDM, it's a bit of a weird position to try and do like a review on. But um, I'm going to see if I can try and get him involved a little bit. He's running forward quite nicely here. Uh, the touch wasn't fantastic there and he did lose out sadly. 
Oh, that losing out of uh, Valverde has actually led to another goal. So that's sadly two mistakes from Valverde where he's lost possession and it has led to a Thurum goal. Pretty stinky for me here, if I'm honest with you. I'm not playing fantastic. That was a really bad decision to bring out to Stegen like that. But still, sadly, two mistakes from Valverde and two goals. Good tackle there from Valverde. He's done really well. I'm not entirely sure who it was he was tackling. I think it was DRB. Again, I'm going to assume it's Summer Heat's DRB that he did tackle there. But it was a nice tackle. A good little pass there off two matches as well. Going to play it out to Kubo. He's going to bring it on his right. Finesse, but a good save from Larice in the end. Ferdinand's picked this ball up really nicely. Up to Kubo, who lets it roll on. Can we get it in there? No, I could not. De Jong plays it in to Valverde. He does play that first time pass up to Morales. It's another good block. Nice pass from Morales. The shot wasn't the best thing in the end, but um, he, do he does feel good like creativity-wise. It's, it's the defensive part that seems like the issue, but for me, he's not he's not good enough to be a cam. I feel like I can't run him at cam. He kind of has to be at CDM, so it's a bit of a weird one. Oh, Diaby is clean through. Diaby's going to score again, man. This is a, this is turning into be a bit of a route for me here. This guy is uh, countering and countering very effectively. Nothing to do with Valverde this time, but sadly, another goal conceded. Valverde's done really well there. Made the space for himself. Good little bit of keeping possession, which is nice to see. And maybe it can lead to a bit of an attack or a foul. At least we get the free kick. Oh, the pass is a bit of a stinker there. It's, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I'm not fully sold on this card as of yet. Uh, it could be that I'm actually playing awful. There, there is a high chance that that is the problem here. Can we create anything from it? De Jong is going to go down to Valverde. We're going to try another shot with him. It's a decent effort. I, I, I can't put my finger on quite on what I think the issue is with this card. But it doesn't quite feel right. There is a half-time whistle. This has been a really tough game. This guy's played really, really well. And I've struggled to really get Valverde doing too much. I think, in all honesty, I'm not playing very well. And that doesn't help very much because I'm not playing very well. But I, I, I can't put my finger on what I think the problem is quite yet. Maybe the second half will find out a little bit more and see if uh, if there's something I'm doing wrong. Or if he can maybe, I don't know, just, just feel right. Well in from Valverde there. Really nice tackle in the end. And it does give us a bit of a chance to break. Kubo with a very heavy first touch. But we do get it out to Vinicius. Who turns inside very nicely. We get it back. I'm wasting chances left, right and centre. What am I actually doing? Somehow we do get a shot away. And we don't score. What am I doing? Trailers wins that ball. We're just going to jog past him. Oh, I had a bit of speed up like that. That's really unfortunate. Because I seriously think I'd have scored that. That's so annoying. Tomato plays a lovely ball here into Valverde. He's going to play a nice pass up to Matches, but Matches' first touch wasn't the one, and Morales' wasn't either. What do I have to do to score? <laughs> Matches plays a lovely pass into Valverde. He's going to play up to Morales. Can we play a nice one too? We can. Now, surely Morales has to score this one. He doesn't. How are we not scoring goals? What is actually going wrong? <laughs> Oh my god, what was that? That's the most FIFA 20 goal you're ever going to see in life, boys. What just happened? De Jong plays it into Valverde. Nice first time pass. Going to go back to Valverde. Morales is absolutely being chopped down there, but Matches is going to turn, going to shoot, and we are going to find the back of the net. Now the goals are coming. 3-3, three, three, a lovely little play from Valverde. Getting the initial pass and then getting the assist as well. I'm fairly sure that should count as an assist. Really nice finish in the end from Matches. Fair play. Valverde trying to get involved, but Diaby again getting the best of him and making it past him, which is a real shame because Diaby isn't someone I particularly struggle with uh, normally in these games. So uh, the fact he's getting past Valverde is a bit of a worry, but that is a good pass there out to Vinicius Jr. Vinicius is just going to take his time. We're going to lay it across. That was Rio Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand is now playing striker. And you can't tell him he can't, because if he's going to score the goals, we'll let him off. <laughs> that build-up, though, did start with a lovely through ball from Valverde. Let's not forget that. That was a really nice... Uh, I don't know if he tackled Pogba, I can't remember, but it was a really nice through ball from uh, Valverde to, to get the goal. That's what we needed. Going to play it out and up. Oh, not quite. The run there from Valverde is good. What I like to have is one sentiment who uh, stays back and one who kind of plays box-to-box. -box. I think the box-to-box -box role is what Valverde has to play. Because I think if you rely on him to stay back and have him play as a CDM, I think you're going to be disappointed. Whereas if he's going forward and getting a bit of a chance to be creative, make some passes and take some shots just like that, then you're going to get a bit more out of him. I think that's what I've kind of adapted a bit more now. De Jong is the one to stay back and Valverde is the one to play box to box because that there is a phenomenal finish. I'm skipping replays because I don't want to be toxic to people, but I watch these back 
for these goals and the assists and stuff because he's played really well there. Valverde gets the ball nice and deep here. We're going to try and bring it forward. Again, playing that box to put. Oh, he's actually brought him out the goal. Um, well then. So we'll, we'll kind of ignore that goal. I mean, it was a nice finish. Doesn't really mean much because he wasn't playing and he brought the keeper out. So well, pinch of salt, pinch of salt. <laughs> Well, that is full time. We managed to somehow make it back from a 3-0 or 3-1 we were losing in the end to 6-3. Obviously, three goals from, from Valverde, but we'll basically call it 5-3 because he stopped playing at 5. But some lovely, lovely goals from Valverde in the end. We'll watch especially that last one back. I do want to see the first one, though, because I'm still not entirely sure how it ended up going in the back of the net. But it's going to be a bit of a mixture of you here. I'm not entirely, not entirely convinced by his performance. Oh, we've only got half the goals. Well, that's disappointing. We don't have his first goal, which is actually what I wanted to see. But watch this goal. This is a really, really nice finish here. Again, if you get him playing that box-to-box, -box, give him that chance to go forward. He's got a really good shot on him. And there we see exactly that. We see a lovely finish that is right in that corner. And uh, Lloris, who had been making some fantastic saves all game, getting nowhere near that one. So it's a really, really nice finish from Valverde. And obviously, that's his base shooting because we didn't upgrade his shooting. We put an anchor on him that so wasn't affected at all by that. But I have to say, a bit of a mixed review you're going to get here. But I feel like we did deserve the win, especially if you look at those stats there. Um, but uh, I'll give you my full thoughts now. Okay, so according to Footbin, you're looking at roughly a 50k card. Obviously, this is on the PlayStation Market because it's the market. On, I'm, I'm not too sure about what the price was on Xbox to the SVC, but we'll assume it's around a 50k card. I really enjoyed using him at certain points. At certain points, he was a pain in the backside to play with. He, he didn't feel physical at all, and obviously, I had his physicality boosted. He's got 98 aggression, and he's got, what is it, 92 strength. And he just didn't feel very strong. He, he was getting shrugged off the ball by quite a few different players. One of which was the Summer Heats DRB. And now Summer Heats DRB is not a particularly physical card. But he was getting shrugged off it by him though. You saw the shooting. That 98 long shots was fantastic. Uh, and some great shot power in there as well. Felt pretty rapid going forward. Dribbling was really, really nice. Didn't have an issue with that balance or agility at all. Um, slight shame about the 3 star, 3 star. Especially the skill moves. I mean, it was a shame not being able to do some of those other turns and things to guarantee keeping the possession and, and, and really you know open up that midfield with a good skill move every now and again so that was a real real shame but I have to say for a 50k card I do think this guy's worth doing um, by the time this is out rewards would have also been out so people will have extra things in their club if you've got some stuff you're not going to use I think this could be a really good fodder card for you to use it on uh, even if he doesn't get upgraded even if Real Madrid go out of the Champions League this is still a very good card and very good for the value of 50,000 coins so I really do think this is a decent card and one that's worth your time if this SPC was any more than 50k if it was near that 100k mark I probably would say to leave it if it was like an 84 or an 85 rated squad I wouldn't be that like inclined to, to try and tell you to think about doing it but because it's only 50k I do think it's worth the value but that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, then please do leave a like on the video. It's greatly appreciated and supports me a whole bunch. So if you did enjoy it, then a like is greatly appreciated. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content and you're looking forward to the FIFA 21 stuff that we have got in store, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button. It'll be great to have you become part of the family and make sure you turn on notifications to be told anytime we upload a video or indeed go live with a live stream. But for now, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves and of course, Hersty wash games. your hands in a bit. Let's go. Uh, Hersty Games and this is how we do. Now it's time we team up. Team up. Check them online. You might catch them playing FIFA. Hey, yeah, you know we keep it live. Make sure to give a like and subscribe. Gaming channel, what's the best one? Keep it hella dope, hella fresh, huh? Yeah, Hersty, Hersty Games. Tune in. Even told my grandma, my sister, and my best friend. You might want to check them. If you want to be entertained, you already know the name. Check us out, Hersty Games. Hey, whoop. Make sure to give a like and subscribe.